Hello everyone and welcome back! In this lesson we are going to cover the Angular CLI SAS integration, we are going to have a look at uh, several features of SAS and we are going to see how those features help us to write more readable and more maintainable styles for our components. Let's now complete the red theme by adding here some styling also to the border. So now let's try to style the situation where we have the input focus added to our input box. Let's change the color of the shadow to be of a red tone. So if we now would try this out, we reload the application and we can see that the shadow is still of a blue tone. And that is because we are trying to apply this class here to a child element of the host element. If we want to apply this to the host element itself, we need to remove this space here. So if we hit Ctrl S, we are going to see that now the shadow is red as expected. Now as we can see, we are starting to have here a little bit of repetition, we are rewriting here the host context red theme selector again, if we want to improve a bit the readability of our styles, we can use the SAS integration of the Angular CLI. And to do that, we simply have to rename this file to have the extension SCSS, so Sassy CSS, or SAS for short. If we simply rename it, and we can also make it a SAS partial by adding an underscore to it to follow the conventions of SAS, the usual conventions of SAS. So as you can see, everything is still working as expected, but this is now a SAS file, so we can use all the features of SAS. Let's, for example, define a variable for the color. We are going to simply say that the border color for this theme is going to be red. Now we can use this variable here inside this template. Let's uh, try it out. We are going to replace all the occurrences of red with this variable here. So this is one of the many features of SAS that helps us to write more maintainable CSS, so we can define variables just like in a JavaScript program. Another feature is, for example, nested styles, which usually we tend not to need when we are defining styles inside a component, because these styles already are very specific. But in this case, for example, we are repeating here this selector, so it would make it more readable if we could take this style here and nest it inside this style. So this is the parent style, this is the child style. Now, because we don't want to apply the input focus to a child element of this child style, but to the element itself, we are going to use the ampersand sas syntax here, so this will create a selector which was identical to having here input focus like we had just below. So if we now try this out by hitting control space, we are going to see that everything is still working as expected. And these are only a few examples of how to use sas and its multiple features to better style our components. What we're going to do next is we are going to have a deeper look into how the component styling mechanism works, how the isolation of the styles work, and what are the different isolation modes that we can have for creating Angular components. Let's have a look at it. This is coming right up in the next lesson. And these are only a few examples of how to use SAS and its multiple features to better style our components. What we're going to do next is we are going to have a deeper look into how the component styling mechanism works, how the isolation of the styles work, and what are the different isolation modes that we can have for creating Angular components. Let's have a look at it. This is coming right up in the next lesson.